Oh, what do you want to do? We want to go to chores. And if you guys have seen my guide on chores, I really favor the using of warriors and act the, the use of warriors to tank the trolls in the early game. So we're gonna go into a troll build, guys. Now, Taro is saying, really hard to make the troll build work. Uh, troll build without Enigma defeat troll creeps. The challenge to make it work, sure, man, let's try it without Enigma. I think the troll have a great potential to defeat the trolls with the Enigma and they still were pretty good without Enigma if I have some 3 star units like a 3 star Shadow Shaman and Witch Doctor that would be key I won't be looking for the task I would if I was in any other game except trolls because we really want Shadow Shaman and Batrider Hey Santi, welcome my friend Yeah, I see, I see. I'm not... Wow, we got some very lucky rolls, by the way, guys. We got a Bat Rider and a Shadow Shaman. I'll put those two stars up. They might lose, but they should be fine. Hey, Santi, welcome in. And... Ah, yes, Yati. So, Yati was recommended by a really good friend of mine who really knows his acoustics and technology. He's been really helpful with streaming and getting me set up as well. It was recommended by him. And yeah, it's been great with me as well, this little Yati mic. And for those that joined, just joined us, currently the Discord for Liquid is off, so we can't play high rank games with other Discord group. What we're doing now is accepting some build requests and we're trying different builds. For this one particularly, we're going to try chores. We're going to see how well we can go with chores in a pub game. Ugh. I don't mind Tron Knights, there's just too many Knights. I can't even take all of them. If I to lock for next round, what I'm looking at is two CQ. I might lock for it. And maybe I'll diverge into Tron Knights for you guys. <laughs> yeah, Jolly. We got some nice rows, I agree. Let me know if the music's too loud or you want, if you want the music a little higher, guys. Actually, we might lose this round. And now we got this. We got an even spread of damage. What I should have done is... Nah, I can't do anything. Axe is actually weaker. Items. What a surprise. Oh, me, it's gonna hammer all of them to death. <laughs> Yeah, I want the knights. I want to try to show you guys the alternate build to the troll ox with troll knights. Which are very fun to watch as well. The strongest units I can have are those right now. And I'll take them. The CK have a better attack speed than Omini. That's why I felt the necessity to give the this splats onto the CK. Let's try troll knights. So I'm going to draw knights in the title. Music's okay, guys. I think the highest I've gotten in a pub game with any account is Bishop Six. That's before I really got to know the game, and I was having trouble to come first. Let's see how high we can go in the pub games with a bishop account. Uh, this round's supposed to be knights, buddy. Knights, knights, knights. Not those things. What are those? I do want the juggernaut, but oh, I need to put one more low. I was gonna say, I do want the juggernaut, but we don't have the gold bird. The knights are still very nice, and Tron Knights is definitely viable. No completely saying, yeah, Yadi, with many mics, does this pick up background? Ah, oh, I see. I see, I see. Thank you for that. Let me try, let me try. I am not the best with technologies, as you guys know, so... Maybe this is better. I'm putting down. I'm putting the gain lower. Oh, we lost this one. Damn. 
pretty convincingly. So I'm putting down the mic lower. Let me know if you're still picking up a lot of the things. And personally, because I'm not very familiar with technologies such as the the mics, I am still trying my best to learn those. So I really appreciate if you guys any particular advice, anything, let me know. It really helps as well. We'll take this puck. I think it's actually better with two mini, a bat rider and a shadow shaman and a CK at this point. Thank you, Cynthia. Thanks, guys. Thank you for the suggestion. Okay, sure, no split. That would be great. Thank you. Ex that would be excellent for us as well. Because you guys can check for me and give me some really good advice. Thank you so much, my friend. We did lose a winning streaker, unfortunately. It's a bloodluster tinker. If the bat rider survives, we'll win. No, the bat rider's dead. <laughs> we don't do enough damage, that's the downside. The bat rider, though, could do a lot of damage back then. So sad. Start losing now. We need to hit a. I was gonna say, we need to hit a pair of things that we want, but. <laughs> we did hit pairs. I need to be more precise. We really didn't want to hit a three, a two star. So one pair, two pair, three pair, four pair. Spider the timber. Yeah, he's taking a shadow shaman. So he wants to go trolls as well. Not good. Mm, we're not the strongest simply because we have too many pairs. So yeah, I have the basic version of the OBS, guys, for any of you that's interested. I do plan to go to the Streamlab OBS very soon, simply because I haven't got the setup properly set up on Streamlab. It seems to be picking up more, more background than I wanted, compared to this one even still, I know. So I have downloaded the Streamlab OBS right now. Currently I'm using the basic version of OBS. Excellent. Much needed in terms of nights. This is nice. I'm opening also up to Dragonite to show you guys maybe we can run a Dragonite with the knights if the trolls don't come. So I'm only opening up to alternatives first as well. But we're gonna get a losing streak. Yes, <laughs> Senti, you're right. It's open for the Tron Knight. Very strange, right? And we're getting as many pairs as we can. It's like we're playing poker. Almost the full house. Hey, we wanted to lose here. What happened to this guy? $50, one kilogram of what? What is he selling? <laughs> $50, one kilogram Vietnamese. I'm not sure what he's selling, but. Hey, it's a really nice way to broadcast this product. Hey, Shadow Shaman, excellent. <laughs> oh, excuse me. We do have the four knights that makes us a little stronger than usual. The downside is we don't have enough units to sell. Actually, no, we can't sell Bat Rider. So we're not sitting on any savings, and we're not sitting on any proper streak. It's okay. Uh, hey, no, I don't have to monitor at the moment. So what's happening is I'm tapping back, I'm tapping out of the game to see the chat and tapping back in. I do really need a two monitor. I'll plan to get it next week or maybe the week after, once I get the money for it as well. I do plan to get another monitor, that's that's true. Definitely needed. Because it's a bit silly to be tapping out of the game and replying chat and coming back. Uh, don't need any of that. So I'll take the drawinger. So we're opening up 
helps really wide for good hits of good units. The downside is too many pairs. We should really be going to level 6 for the higher rate for 3 stars. And by the way, I'm planning to upgrade our rate table. I think there was a small mistake I made in the rate table and very helpful people on YouTube and really helped me with the rate table, cleared a few things. And I really want it so detailed that you can count. If someone's denying six units, you actually know what are the chances of you finding your unit when there's someone denying one to 15 units. So I want to make it more detailed and more helpful for you guys. And that will be one of the big projects I'll be making for next week. Hey, we won the golden round. That's good. The plan is to go to level 7 for a higher dragon and a higher troll rate. We still wish missing miss, Witch Doctor. Hey, we just said we won and we lost to this golem bashed off us. Just when I said that Witch Doctor came. Excellent. I am going to level up once. And I do feel like the Luna is not pulling her weight as one of the knights. I prefer the Batrider with the two star Shadow Shaman synergy right now. Let's swap them around. What I should really be doing is swapping the Shadow. It's hard, you see. I, I think the Undead Aura is also good, but we just can't fit everyone. So let's leave it here for now. We're so greedy on a particular purple unit. Uh, <laughs> all of a one star, six a two star Shadow Shaman. Even the Bat Rider is one star. Shadow Shaman? Do your magic, buddy. <laughs> I really dislike how Bat Rider really stacks up the back line while he's not stacking up the front line with his name from. Ah, I should have sold the Fury actually. Hey, we got our first pair matched. Very nice. Ah, oh, we can't use the Shadow thing anymore. Simply because we want the Chaos Knight. We can't use the Doom as well. That's fine. I do plan to go to level 7 next turn. And this is when we hit our power spike. And really hit a good chance of getting a purple unit. Xcore is saying, what are the three top meta builds, by the way? And call me Reko. Oh yeah, I should call you Reko. Sorry, my friend. So I'm really trying to get into a habit of practicing calling people's full name. And <laughs> for that particular case, yeah, I forgot I should call you Reko. Reko is saying, what are the top three meta? I think the top three are the elves. The orc mages are still pretty strong. And the last one, it's optional depending how it goes. I think it would be the Druids and Elf or Hunters. So I think the top four will be three mages with some really nice ox. Just when I said ox, they all came. Strange enough. Let me just get this and uh, answer more of your guys' questions. I really want those Beastmaster to be honest. A sick it come. One more row. And we hit nothing, unfortunate. That's okay. So yeah, to answer your question, my friend, Reko, so we have the elves. The six elves is really strong currently. We have the three mages combined with some of the ox with disruptor, which is I think one of the top three strong meta. We have the hunters. The hunters can be changed into undead hunters or elf hunters which can be number three. And lastly, I feel that we also have the elves and the druids. Notice how some strong builds, they really interchange. And I think for that particular reason, you can call them the top three or you can call them the top four, top five, because they do change a bit. I am so out of gold. It's okay. A row once. Hey, I did get my spare change. But my minimum goal is get a bat rider, to be honest. Did you get a wish doctor? Okay, we're gonna stop. Simply because we wrote this one, 
Hey, actually. No, no time. I just chucked the random unit out. I should not have done that. If this is a particular round. So the reason being is if I win this round, most likely I'll sell the puck for this Abaddon. I wrote too much, I know, because I wanted to match a pair. Now that I matched the Omini Knight, I won't be rolling like that ever. And I'll be saving a bit because I know we're very strong. I'll be selling this puck, unfortunately. Yeah, I'll sell the puck for the Abaddon. I don't want to miss my roll. Necro, excellent. Okay, we're so strong right now, we don't need to change anything. So right now we have one, two, three, four. We have five knights, two undead, and two trolls. So we're pretty strong right now. We don't need to change for anything. It was a little sad to be selling the puck, but unless the dragon knight comes, and even the dragon knight comes at one, at one star, it's not gonna be that strong. I think we stick with the trolls for now. Like we're saying, thanks for the answer. Yeah, they do suck a little more on this patch with Ox, I agree. Because the passive is reduced for two Ox. But, you know, on the plus side, I think the passive is still okay with four Ox, to be honest. And only 50 HP is not that big of a change, to be honest for me. When they're strong, the Ox are strong because they have health. They have armor and they have AoE damage in terms of Disruptor, Beastmaster, and Juggernaut. Ark is just too much of a powerhouse before. Hey, look, we just came. Both of them. I'll take it. Give this to CK. And those two, I'm gonna save my troll actually. We're in a very good spot to be saving money. Simply because I know I am one of the strongest unit composition right now. I think everyone will be saving here. Yeah, they are saving. We saved a bit late. It's fine. And the final thing oh, this is a fun build to start Terrorblade with Elemental. This is like anti mage with Terrorblade and Elemental. It's like how squishy can I get? They just found us as well. Let's really see how strong he can get. Yeah, he can't break my Omini, so strong. Usually before round 20, a 2 star Omini and 2 star Abaddon just really wins you the game with any item. Hey, see, sometimes I really like it when I say something, the next round he comes and he just starts smiling. Notice how I have them as my initial tank and my secondary tank. And Shadow Summon is here to receive some damage and get it hex off. Simply because they have 10 armor and a star shield. I feel that that's really necessary for my frontliners. And CK here is actually like a bruiser. He did have 10 armor and the. He does have 10 armor and the Blackstone, but that's with the items. The very unfortunate thing is we don't have a big winning streak, but it's okay, we'll get that soon. See, Shadow Summon got an early hex. The train protector is hexed. And we have the powerhouse right now with undead, with the trolls, and with the actual four knights. That's level two. The Luna, though, is not that necessary to be honest. I could be selling those two. Oh, Bat Rider is nice. I was gonna say. In other games, I would have bought this Alchemist without even thinking because he reduced armor and it's so good with two or three Warlocks. Because we have one Warlock, two Warlock, and three Warlock if we buy this one. But now no one touches Alchemist at all. So sad. I think I have the four Knights and one Star Luna really don't do much for us. And because of that, I'll take it out. In favor of a little witch doctor. Witch doctor can really do a lot when he bounces with the coconut, that is. Look at here, he's about one, two, three, four. He bounced four targets with the one seconds down. That's so strong. And we're saving as well. We're climbing back from the last position to this position. That really shows us the knights are really a powerhouse. 
We're just missing a troll wall up, to be honest. Ah, yes. Yeah, to test it with the chores and the alchemists. Did you want me to test it, regular or not to test it? Hey, look, the star of the show just came. Such a star, this guy. Comes on right timing. And now what we have is we have a trolls with half four knights. Something very interesting gonna happen. I'm gonna give him the items uh, for him to get a um, like uh, maelstrom or a desolator. So what's gonna be very interesting is I know the unit I need for my next level, and I don't need a Luna. I don't need a Lundrun anymore, and I don't need those two. So I'm gonna have a clearance sale, I think. Yeah, I sold those two already. I know I'll be leveling up for this Necro very soon after round 20. So round 21 is when I go to level 8. And I'll be staying on level 8 for a long time. With the income from the winning streak, we're going to be a very strong troll knight. I think maybe someone's taking Dragon Knight. No, but yeah, Dragon Knight it just feels so slow. I'm going to bank out all the Shadow Shamans we can find. Yeah, right now we hit a very nice spike, by the way. Yeah, I know, Rico. If we have an alchemist in this lineup, it's just kind of silly. It's like, he's like, I'm the main tank. The knights just look at him and shake their head when they're the super tanky ones. And he says, I attack really fast. And Charles just looks at him and shakes his head. He's like, no, you don't attack that fast, buddy. I can hit up to 400 plus attack speed. Now yeah, he's like, okay, he's just standing in the corner now. What we really want to see, in addition, is the Necro. Later on, we want a Death Prophet or a Lich. And um, what we want to see is we want the another Warlock or we want a Disruptor. Wow, a Troll just got a Desolator, guys. This is going, going to turn out to be excellent for us. Yeah, we want a Disruptor or we want a, another, another Warlock that's not those two. Yeah, we're going to 8, simply because we want the spike. I feel it's a good investment. This goes to the draw, and this one... I'm saving this one, because we don't need 250 health, but we can make a Vanguard, or we can make a Heart Wizard. I'll show you the options, guys. So we can make a Vanguard, we already have the Star Shield, we can make a Heart, we are pretty far off, but we might get lucky. We're so strong right now. We just need a disruptor and we just need something like not a shadow thing because we have a demon. We just need something like Enigma. We're actually winning without losing anything because the knights are so tanky. Winning streak and good health. Excellent. Need a witch doctor, but not that urgent. Oh, Disruptor and the Dragon Knight. Yeah, unfortunately for us, we won't be taking the Dragon Knight simply because he is actually not as strong. Actually, if he gets the two star, he can do some magic, but it's going to be so far for him. So what's going to happen with the Dragon Knight is Omini and Abba won't be swapping because they're so great. I might swap the Chaos Knight for a Dragon Knight if he's two star. That's the only time I'll swap. But my default unit will be the Disruptor. Disruptor as my default unit to go to level 9 when I feel the need to. I won't be going to level 9 until around maybe 26, 27, because we're just so strong. We just need some saving. He's saving up that many items on his career. It just, it kind of surprises me sometimes. I think what I'll do is, I think I've got to record for this particular game. What I'll do is I'll download the replay from the Twitch first. Since I think this is going to be a very nice troll game for us. Hmm, take the Shadow Shaman. Oh no, Shadow Thing. The reason I'm taking the Shadow Thing is that if I plan to sell the CK, I can have a Demon, and this will be my Warlock as well. Bit of the planning for the future.
think music is dead. Let me play the music first. Yeah, right now we have the strongest lineup by far at this current meta. So strong. As you can see guys, even with level 1 troll we can do magic. So how I feel the troll really needs is troll need knights or troll need ox to be tanking. Ox are great early game, knights are great mid game. It would be more squishy if we had the ox, but we'll actually have a solid early game with the ox. But with the knights, once you get to the 2 star, they are almost impenetrable wall of defense for, for the trolls. This is so strong. Minus 15 armor is no joke, guys. We're minus 4 and minus 15, so let me show you the target the troll attacks instantly melts. Let's be fast, because the unit's gonna die. Oh, he got a 2 star dragon eye. We'll look at him after. This is the unit that he's gonna hit. So, minus 46 physical, re physical damage. Reduction. What that means is each time we hit, we're actually doing 46% more physical damage. On top of the set, we're doing 100 damage, we're actually doing 146 damage to the unit. And that's, that's just incredible. It's got a 2 star dragon out with the dragon synergy, maybe. That's really good for him. We're still gonna be saving. And. I really don't need a long to be honest. I don't think I need the... Do I? Alki? No, don't need an Elk. Yeah, I'll be rolling next round. I really want to roll to, into a good 2 star before I go up. Because right now we have some decent chances to be getting Shadow Shaman and Bat Rider. And even the Witch Doctor. As the higher we go, the less likely we get him to 3 star. And that's what stands out between a good troll and a really strong troll. Ah, why this formation? That's a good question, my friend. Yeah, really good for me to explain as well. So this formation is usually before round 31. This formation is excellent in terms of focus fire. Let me explain. Once we get back to formation. Hey, we found Bat Rider. One moment. Making my spare change with Enchantress. Mm, I'm really greedy right now. That's proper. Excellent. No, 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 no. No time. I'll let go of the Necro. So why this formation? There's a few reasons why this formation. Notice how those four will be focused on this unit over here. And Abaddon is off tank. So I have... One off tank and one bruiser. So the six unit here likely to be focusing on one that's over here. This is a focus fire range. And when this one dies, they're gonna focus on the next one. See, over here, this one. Because we have some strong unit synergy, we're actually focusing fire each unit at a time. And this, this is why this formation is so good from round four to round 20, I feel. And I just banked up a lot of gold. Yeah, we're gonna be using that gold. I might give this to Death Prophet, because I think she deserves some items. We don't have a life steal right now. This is the downside with this strategy. But we're really tanky. I don't feel we need life steal at this point. So hopefully this explains a bit of the formation. Ah, Dragonite. No, not like this. If too many of you came. Ah. Okay, this is gonna be desperate. Yeah, I'm favoring the. I'm favoring the other units instead of Omini and Abaddon because I feel they're harder to get to, to 3 star. I'm favoring the Shadow Shaman, Dragon Knight, and Bat Rider because I want to swap out the Chaos Knight. We have so much minus armor that that property is so strong here. Sitting on so much gold, I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> First of all, prop them right. 
And we have a fly and Radiant Caria, in case you guys are wondering. So majestic, right? <laughs> hey, uh, my friend is my friend is just walking by. He's the friend that really helped me with streaming as well. <laughs> he helped my court on the majestic Korea. <laughs> because it kind of rhymed with the channel name, right? Okay, this is the time we like go off this, okay? Perfect. We spent way too much gold. We still have so much gold that I think maybe I'll just level up here. I'll level up here. Probably not the best decision making. Since, yeah, we were sitting at like 70 gold. I'll be giving items to the Dragonite because I feel he is actually a backup when we fail the initial lineup. The Dragonite's gonna transform. So he actually needs to go to the front with 15 armor. It's gonna transform now. It's gonna be the secondary DPS compared to the troll. And this allows us to have our four undead and no lifesteal, or we can have we can swap back to the death prophet and have the lifesteal. I don't feel we need lifesteal right now. Just how strong we are. Ah, uh, he's going to work right now, and unfortunately he's very busy most of the time. But yeah, he can definitely help me with the mic setup, you're right, nosebleed, definitely helpful. But we can try a bit on stream before he comes back. Mm, I'll keep the shadow pink. What I'm really looking for is a disruptor. So how this is gonna go is... Yeah, this is fine. So I want the DK here so he receives only one instance or two instances of damage. And what this does is he's gonna receive damage to transform. This. Over here he's receiving one instance of damage. And we're doing a lot of human silence. So after he receives enough damage, he's gonna transform early enough and not take enough damage to die. That's the key I feel. And now we have a really strong lineup. Because the DK provides so much physical damage. No mini game? Uh, I'm not. Should I be rolling? Nah, I'm not gonna be rolling. Yeah, the unfortunate thing is we will dominate him so much. I think this friend here is also looking for chores. Right? <laughs> He's seeing a pickle because he needs to know that Enchantress, Furium, and Train Protector, even alone, should really force off at this part of the game. So he really needs his trolls down and he really needs his knights down. What is he doing? I am not sure. Poor guy. So what he needs, he's following following us actually in a different alternative, but he really needs to know those three units force off so much after round 20, because they're the fake three stars, they're not real three stars. <laughs> they're the ones you buy from things that's made in China, <laughs> they really do fall off after round, round 20 I feel. By the way, I'm Chinese guys, so it's okay if I make Chinese jokes. <laughs> Okay, we got some very nice items actually. Balance a troll. Let's buy the laundry to enhance our chances. Not that we really need him. Ah, great. We're so stuck with units. Yeah, what I'm thinking is I'm gonna give my items to the death buffer because I feel. Oh, should I give to DK? Face pump. It's okay, Death Prophet. I'll sell you very soon. No one noticed that. I'm gonna give the blink dagger to the DK. What I want to do is the big DK to have all the good items. He blinks in and he does something. And he becomes a dragon. Because we do have some tanky lineup for him. So right now I'm gonna sell the Death Prophet simply because I made a mistake. <laughs> and gave the Death Prophet the hyperstone. Look at this DK. He goes in and starts flapping his wings and everything just disappears. Actually, I need to do this next turn because we won't get another turn after this one. Oh, will we? No, we won't get another turn after this one because the other player is going to die. Oh, we'll be left with one player. Deuce is great, but his positioning of the Deuce is a bit off. Going to level 10. Refining something? Oh, yeah, let's go to level 10. So many things to do. Okay, we found a Lich. Great. Where's Lich? 
Okay, so what's gonna happen is I'm gonna be giving one, two, and three items to DK. Unless you can take the rest of it. Not the best strategy or anything, because the only reason I'm doing this is I know it's gonna die this round. Let's watch. This is gonna be one angry DK, by the way. Go transform. No, poor DK. He tried. He had a choice. GG well played my friend. So hopefully you guys enjoy this alternative to, to the off controls. This is the alternative. This is the old fashioned knights and trolls. And we were very dominating this game. We did lose a lot in the early game. But very soon, as soon as we paired up our five or six pairs, we really start to spike. And with a few good strategy and a few good leveling skills, we got our units lined up back up and we were very dominating once the troll came to us. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. And please remember to like and subscribe. <laughs>